This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Okay, okay, yes, yes, OBS is back online. Sorry about that. I don't know why I decided to disconnect. Yeah. I just don't feel right taking these photos in secret, that's all. If you're going to take them, you ought to come right out and take them where everyone can see. Do it if you call yourself her father. Do it! Do it! Uh huh. By the time I realized that Nagis is right next to us. Uh oh, sorry. You started it. <laughs> oh, sorry. The old man and I quiet down. Once we finally do, Nagisa leaves our table. Woo! We apparently have ten people in Twitch chat. That's insane. Maybe, maybe Twitch is lying to me, but if so, that's impressive. <laughs> the old man and I watch her walk off. But after looking around the store for a while, I've noticed something. <laughs> As soon as I pointed out that we had 10 people in Twitch chat, immediately Twitch is like down to 5. That's hilarious. <laughs> a lot of the young male customers keep looking at Nagisa. Am I just being overly self-conscious because I'm her boyfriend? No, you're her husband. No, those guys sitting in the corner are even pointing and staring at her. I guess that's what you'd call a magic of the uniform, even if Nagisa becomes popular when she's wearing a- Wow, that's... that's rude. Here it says 10 on one part and then 8 on another. It, yeah, I don't think the number is actually accurate. It was just cool to see. It's only because the old man kept hearing from his customers about how cute she was that he wanted to come here in the first place. When I look at it that way, I feel a sense of superiority. And you know what, guys? She's my wife. Heheheheh. <laughs> <laughs> You lost me? Like, is my mic muted or something? Oh no, is OBS... OBS is not dis... No? It should... Everything should be working, Marty. Everything's fine on my end. Two idiots sit face to face. Those guys in the corner get Nagisa's attention as she tries to pass by. They grin as they start talking to her. Uh-oh. They're hitting on her. Nagisa attempts to leave, but the man closest to her grabs her arm. Uh-uh. They're trying to force her to keep talking. Boom. Yeah. We find ourselves actually agreeing for once. The two of us stand up at the same time. But don't do anything too crazy. Nagis is going to be the one getting in trouble if we upset the management. I can imagine just about anyone getting shaken up by that face of his. Oh yeah! We got the kick butt music going on. The old man and I stand on both sides of Nagisa. Hey, uh, you think you could let go? <laughs> the place is reinforcing some dangerous environment with those uniforms. No, if a guy acts like that, it doesn't matter what the uniform's like, the guy's at fault. While it's free on two, we both look like people you don't want to mess with. Our threats seem to work as the men turn pale. Nagisa whispers to me. The men leap up and storm past us. Just then, I see one of them intentionally step on the old man's foot. A second later... WOMP! I hear a loud noise and see the man sitting on the floor. Did the old man just trip him back? Unsurprisingly, the man flies into a rage. <laughs> hey, Sonic! Welcome! We're just about to teach some guys, uh, uh, some men, how to respect women. <laughs> he takes a swing, but the old man dodges it and trips him again. 
crash. The man crashes onto the table we were just sitting at. Our cups fall over, pouring water everywhere. Oh, man! Oh, no. This is turning into the brawl at the restaurant. Who else could it have been? The only people that hit on you when you worked in a cafe were over 80? Oh. I am so sorry. Moments later, a man jumps in. He seems to be the manager. But it's not like I had any intention to keep going at the group of guys anyway. I hope Nagisa doesn't get in trouble for that. Right as the restaurant empties out before closing, I find myself sitting across the table from the manager. As for the old man... Bye bye boo! He runs off after some parting words. I can't believe him. So now I get to be yelled at all on my own. He hands me his business card. I'm Okazaki. Okazaki-kun? That's my name. Wow. Oh, so the manager here calls Nagisa Okazaki-kun. I'm embarrassed by the fact that he's more used to that name than I am. I'm sorry for causing such a mess. She's only been working here two days! <laughs> I see. Oh, that's the same person who works here. You go, Nagisa! That sounds like her, always giving it her all. Oh, now I get it. And that's what he wanted to tell me. Oh, you think more time has passed and she's worked here longer than that? I thought this was still her second day on the job. That's what it made it sound like. He's not here to scold me for causing trouble. He wants to put me, Nagisa's husband, at ease. What a good person. Oh yeah! He makes the follow-up comment, probably because of my silence. Oh yes, I feel much better after talking to you. I answer in a rush. While I know she's far from perfect, please take good care of her. I bring an end to the conversation with a bow. Yeah, you knew that that guy was your dad, right? Sorry for causing you trouble. She seriously doesn't know? <laughs> you can thank him any time, don't worry. Uh, I'll tell him... Yeah, I'll tell him. But you know, that uniform really did look good on you. Of course. All the guys in the restaurant were staring at you. And you even got hit on. Oh. Nagisa. You naive little fool. <laughs> even if that was true, they shouldn't have invited you out unless... They wouldn't have invited you out unless you were cute. But you are cute, you know. Yeah. Huh? I pretend to be completely confused. This should remind her not to insult herself. Yeah. You're cute, right? Yes. Yeah! I love getting Nagisa to call herself cute. She's quite sheltered. She spent half her life sick in bed, basically. She's like the female version of Edmund from Secret Garden, but like, not a jerk. Oh no. She's finally figured out that she can just be modest instead of insulting herself. Wait! What would you think of if someone said the Big Dongle family was cute, but that other characters are much, much cuter? Gah! 
my, my secret pleasure. You're banned from doing that. Was Colin the sickly kid? I thought his name... Never mind, I'm thinking of... Edmund, who likes Turkish Delight from Lightning the Witch in the Wardrobe. It's been so long since I have read The Secret Garden. Yeah. Colin. Colin's the kid who's sick in bed. I always get his name and... Who was the gardener kid's name? I always get their names confused. Yeah, I have... It's been... 12 years since I've read Secret Garden? Yeah, Ed Edmund's the one who sold his soul for Turkish Delight, which honestly is a is a suite that really sucks. <laughs> he made a bad call in that regard. You think Rio is worse in that regard of putting herself down? I don't I don't think so. Uh oh. Goodbye, my narcissistic Nagisa. Uh, there's a girl I like a lot, and her name is Nagisa Furukawa. Could you please not badmouth her? Uh, hi. Okay, yeah, the gardener kid is Dickon, that's right. Dickon's the gardener kid, Colin is the kid who's sick in bed, and then Edmund is from a completely different book. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wow, Marty! Jeez! Absolutely savage to marry. Wow, <laughs> You're fine just as long as you're cute. かわいくもあ、そうですよね。私可愛いですから、きっと何でもオッケーです。ともやくん、ワクワクして寝られなかったはずです。こんな Mary literally throws herself on the ground in a tantrum like Caillou because someone tells her to go to school. Did that happen? Again, it's been 12 years since I read that book. I forget. <laughs> she can't be as bad as Caillou. No one is as bad as Caillou. <laughs> when I close my eyes, all of these moments for my plan to turn Nagisa into a narcissist flash through my mind. But now it's all... You don't want a narcissist for a girlfriend or a wife. Huh? What? I wipe my eyes as I return to reality. Huh? Why? Well, yeah. Oh no. When she puts it like that, I can't bring myself to keep forcing her to do this. Yeah, that happens, so they send her out to the gardens as she tries to find her dead aunt's rose garden. I need to- I think I need to read that book again, because I remember that book sucking when I read it the first time, but it's probably just- I was a sucky kid, <laughs> and didn't appreciate it. I would probably like the book a whole lot more now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's fine. It was more cowardly of me than anyone, forcing you to do that for my own amusement. A little bit. I'm sorry. The musical is way better. Well, Marty, of course you say that. You love musicals. I'm the guy who's like, musicals kind of suck because 99% of the time when they sing a song, there's no reason for the song to be in it. It's just like, and then everyone in the town decides to start doing a choreographed musical number. 
That's why I like the mob psalm from Beauty and the Beast and Wicked so much, because that actually, like, could make sense for it being, like, a psalm where they're, like, it's like a march to, like, urge them on. Well, I guess. You really did lack confidence back then. But you've come more than far enough. You wouldn't believe how much your manager praised you. You're completely different from when I first met you. I guess it's the way you handle yourself? You seem so grounded now. Yeah, so you've done enough. <laughs> Baby, you're my forever girl. <laughs> you do more than a good enough job at that, Nagisa. In fact, I'm the one who probably doesn't live up to your expectations. You both live up to each other's expectations, so stop putting yourselves down and just live your happy life! <laughs> and you're girly and cute. We stare at each other. This is kind of... a nice feeling. This is a new sprite, I think. Nagisa slowly moves her face closer to mine. What? Before I know it, she's right in front of me, her eyes closed. Our lips are pressed together. She moves in, further shortening the distance between us. She doesn't stop until we can't be any closer. Well, that happened. After what feels like a long time, our lips part. Nagisa looks down, her face beat red. She raises her head to talk, but her eyes are still looking down. She was trying to act as confident as she possibly could. It comes across as comical, though, I nearly start laughing. Don't! She follows up with that question. She's probably feeling concerned because of my silence. I was just trying not to laugh. They know they've kissed, Marty. They've kissed. <laughs> yeah. It's This is kind of like the first one that she has spontaneously acted on, though. It made me think that I could die happy. I try to be as sincere as I can. That's just how happy I was. Yeah. Then let's do it again. She seems a little freaked out. <laughs> it's just a joke. They are both so awkward at this. Flustered this time around, she brings her lips to mine with even more intensity. Our lips lock together at a good angle. Work must have tired Nagisa out today. I can hear her sleeping just moments after turning the lights out. Unable to sleep, I stare at the ceiling alone. Married and getting embarrassed from a kiss, worthy of a Christian stream. Yes! Amen! <laughs> All the excitement I felt just moments earlier has disappeared. My life is so satisfying right now. What am I worried about? But, I know what it is. The sight I saw with the old man. The view that greeted me when I turned that corner. As I saw it, I felt this strange, irresistible force for a moment, and I stopped in my tracks. As I did, the old landscape transformed into nothing but a memory. The no trespassing sign. The empty, overgrown, grassy lot on the other side. The path full of ditches that seemed like they could puncture a bri like, the big bike tire. My days as a child, hopping in front of the front wheel over them. All of it. I knew that it was never coming back. Even my own job is to change, is to change what the town looks like. Yoshino-san once told me that's what it means to be alive. Is it really impossible to live a life without change? And if everything around me changes... Can I enjoy it anyway? Can I? Huh? Yoshino-san shows me the newspaper first thing in the morning. I'm trying to find a, a good spot to take a break so I can end the stream, but it's not happening. While it's on the local news page, there's a big article about the start of the construction on a road that'll go straight for the mountains. How long is construction supposed to take? I see. 
元請けも絡んでくるからうちにもいくつか仕事が来るだろう忙しくなるぞ I don't, I don't want to end it randomly. <laughs> If I end it randomly, that'll also affect me because I'll boot it up next time and be like, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> With that, Yoshino san folds up the paper and gets ready for work. I open it back up. The map in the newspaper includes the number of spots I know. I wonder if they'll look completely different with a road going through them. And am I going to help change them? End it as soon as Tomoya says something stupid. <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> that won't take too long. I can't imagine what this image of the future will look like. Yeah? Then what about the old building? Really? Oh, he's not gonna like that. What about it is nice? Clane! I smack the table with my hand, still holding my rice bowl. Jane! Nagisa's taken aback. Yeah, no, no bed sheet, Sherlock. Um, sorry. I didn't get mad. I was just shaken. The old school building. That's where the drama club room is. That's where we worked hard together. And where I fell in love with you. No, it's nothing more than a symbol. But I can't explain it in any other way right now. <laughs> We're getting a new building, isn't it great? What's so great about it, Mr. Smee? <laughs> Then don't act like you're jealous. That the school's going to be new again, and that it's changing. No, you don't need to seriously apologize to me. Now it feels awkward. I'm probably just tired. I'm acting too sensitive. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. I'm sorry. I basically scolded you. Exactly, Marty. Exactly. It feels like the two of us could spend all night apologizing to one another. Sorry, the food must be getting cold. But your food is still delicious even when it's cold. So I don't mind. <laughs> nice recovery. My chest hurts. What is this pain? Yeah, change is scary and sometimes it's sad, but it can bring something wonderful to someone else. Boom, exactly. And it can be and it can end up being a wonderful change for you as well. Everything keeps changing except for me. You've changed, Toma Tomoya, you really have. That's how it's starting to feel. Everything I once loved has turned into plain memories as a brand new world is built around me. Nothing can stay the same forever. Everything keeps changing. And that includes Nagisa. Even Nagisa will be swept away by the tides of change, and the two of us will grow further and further apart. That's not true. The pain in my chest came from a premonition that I'd have to face this sadness one day. She's so close to me right now, but over time she'll grow more distant. That's not necessarily true. That's why I hug Nagisa tightly. As I lie there worried, Nagisa speaks to me with kindness in her voice. Hey, Nagisa. Hi. I really love you. So. I can't finish what I want to say. Always be by my side. If I put the thoughts into words, they'll be washed away. Nagisa. Hi. Nagisa faces me, and I kiss her on the lips. I do it to keep the two of us together. 
I use my finger to pull her jaw down and open her mouth. I want our connection to go even deeper. Whoa, the bro. What the? Why is it playing the really sad music when we start doing passionate kissing? <laughs> it's the first time our insides touch. It feels as empty as a dream. So sad that I could cry. I stood still at the bottom of the hill two years ago. I was frustrated over being stuck, unable to go anywhere. I hated this town that I couldn't escape. I hated everything. I wanted it all to change. But as time went by, I discovered something important to me. And now I'm afraid of losing it. I used to wish so much for change. But at some point, I began wishing for things to stay the same. All of it. I wished that nothing would change. Because if it did, I would lose my smile. I wouldn't be able to love this place any longer. I hear a voice by my ear. I slowly open my eyes. Yeah. She's there for me. Nagisa. I take her hand. I grip it tightly. Nagisa. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Ohayogozaimasa. What warm days these are. If I could have one wish, it would be for them to go on forever. Alright, that is the perfect time to end.